Well, hi to you guys over in Queensland. I hope this um, little short um, video presentation helps you on your search for freedom. So uh, what I did was I uh, went to uh, this site here. I went to Google and I um, just typed in Queensland birth, deaths and marriages obtained birth certificate. And this is a site I came up with, which uh, brings you to this site here. Now, <clears throat> if you have a look at this uh this center bit here, if you read down there, I'll show it in the next few slides anyway, this is the criteria you're going to have to follow to get your um, extract and birth certificate. Now over here is where you get your birth certificate, so if you click there, that's the application form. But you'll need to know the rest of this stuff first, so we'll have a look at that. So if you scroll down the web page, you'll come to the eligibility, and to get a birth certificate, the following eligibility criteria apply. You can and apply for a copy of your own birth certificate. So that's all you need to worry about there. If you're applying for your own one, you go ahead. But now the uh, proving your identity uh, comes into play. So uh, before a certificate information or source document is released, an applicant's entitlement to docu document must be established. Okay, and then the next, uh, as you scroll further down, down to here, uh, you'll see what you need. And it seems they want to keep Australians in the public as each one of these documents will have to be returned once you get into the private or to get into the private. But there's quite a huge list of things here. Linkage between identity and person. Okay, you want current Australian photo, driver's license, front and back, current Australian passport, current overseas passport, all those ones there. Uh, so the criteria was you need one from each list here, one, two, and three, um, or, or otherwise, but you need to fulfill that criteria if you're going to get your uh, birth certificates in printouts. So now, this is the form that, uh, if you remember in the uh, first slide there, I showed you where you click, and this is the form that will come up. Now, there's, there's quite a bit here. Now, you will need to fill out two forms and, and see here where it says certified copy. You're going to put in there, write certified extract on one, and you're going to want certified uh, birth certificate on the other one. Okay. Now, another one here, reason certificate is required. Why would they want to know that? We're just going to tell them it's private. And we're going to quote this legislation here. So what I did was I went on to Google and uh, typed in Queensland Privacy Act. And this is what I got, Section 4 of the Act. So you want Section 4.1. So just put in there, private under Section 4.1 of the Privacy Act. Um, do yourself a favor, though. Go and, go and have a look at that uh, document there. And just fill that in there because they cannot refuse it. This act is not intended to prevent or discourage the giving or of access to or allowing the amendment of documents. And that's what you want it for, because you want to amend your record or correct your record. So that's what you write in there. Right. Now, just uh, some of you, oopsie, we went a bit too far there, but some of you uh, didn't know what a birth certificate and, and a printout looked like. So this is what my New Zealand birth certificate looks like. And... You'll see up here that those are the um, the two given names, and there's a surname here. But if, if we look at the number down here, this is going to become crucial. 1948-105-217. Keep that in mind, because when we look at the next document, you'll see up here the child part, which is just that box there. There's only two names, William Henry. But by the time I got the birth certificate... I obtained a surname as well. So you need to get that very clear in your mind. Now over here, you will see 1948 slash 105217. Okay, now on the previous document, it was just 1948 105217. But in this one, we have a slash. Now that identifies the difference between the public and the private. And the registrar's stamp there proves it. So you need to take cognizance of those numbers there. Big, big, big clue, guys. 
So, but my suggestion is to get at least three copies of both the birth certificate and the extract because um, no one's got it absolutely 100% correct yet um, or if someone gets it they change the rules and you're going to have to return the birth certificate with instructions so you fill out the back of the form and if you've just watched uh, my born identity one you'll see where the instructions are there but you need to have it signed sealed and stamped and addressed to the Bailey in possession and you're going to need to put an indemnity uh, bond on the back of your extract and send that to the treasurer. This is if you want to operate in the private. You may not want to go that far, but this is up to you. And if and when you do get it right, or if you're sharing this information with other people, please share it freely with, uh, with others who are on this walk. And hope this has helped.